listening on one radio. Let's talk. This is part two of what real women really want. We about to get it in, y'all. Welcome to all my new listeners. Welcome to all my day ones, all ones, day ones, shout out. You're listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bring you the realest entertainment, information, music, lifestyle, and comedy around. Contact us by phone, 337-513-4478, by Skype, live, Tony on one to chat. Email Tony on one speaker at gmail.com or sister such and such at yahoo.com or on one radio talk at gmail.com. I don't count likes, calories, blessings, or bullshit. I don't dine with snakes or bite my tongue. It is what it is. I am what I am. I am your host, Tony Williams, and welcome. Welcome to my madhouse where we speak the truth. And tonight we are talking about what real women really want. So ladies, it's your chance. We worked on the fellas for about two weeks and found out what it was they really wanted. So ladies, it's your turn. This is your chance to call in, send a message, smoke signals. I don't give a damn. However, you got to get your message to me, get it, and we're going to air it out. We are live on air. It is six minutes after 7 p.m. Today is July 12th, 2019. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. Or should I say evening, because we've already passed that time already. It's going to be wind down time after all. But we want to talk about this. This is a discussion that gets blurred over and it turns into a whole nother subject when you're talking with multiple ladies or multiple ladies and gentlemen. The lines get blurred on what it is real women really want. And it's a discussion that should take place. Because if you're not ladies, there are fellas who don't know. Why you ask? One, maybe they didn't have any examples. Or the example they did have showed something totally different. Oh, we have a caller. It's Sunny. Hi, Sunny. This is Tony. You're on air. Hello, hello. We are glad to have you, girl. We are on this topic. It's time. Yes, girl, it's time. Oh, yeah, it's time. It's time. They need to know. Real women want real men. But the thing about it is fake women have infiltrated real women so much so that they get bitch niggas instead of real men. They get children. They get infants. Some even get toddlers. Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, they're set a slice of DNA for you. Right. Right. Well, you know what? We're going to clear the air now. We done done part one, and this is part two, and we are digging in deeper. We done covered some of the ground on some of the basics, but I am glad you called because, girl, I was sitting here thinking about this earlier, and it's so messed up how, like you said, about the fakeness, and they done infiltrated, and they done pretty much turned it upside down. I mean, from the cucumber challenge on, real women don't want that shit. Like, come on. And they're totally. I mean, real women don't. They don't just, you know, they don't just 
a broadcast and quote unquote talent like this. Right. Because you gotta find out about it. Yeah. Behind closed doors, unless you're open and it's still kind of behind closed doors because there's not a lot of people around. But right. it's like you don't show and tell everything. It's it's not school anymore. It's not supposed right. to be show and tell, but and that makes real women get viewed over or basically look past or look through or however you want to put it because I mean with the twerking contest, the cucumber challenges, the the it's like a contest. Yeah. And real women don't compete, period. Right. If you wanna know what my special talents are, get to know me and Exactly. Exactly. But see, that's the thing also, because they want it so quick. They want it quick. They want it. Everybody want a quick fix because everybody's so broken nowadays. Yeah. So broken, and they think that what's what's going to heal them is the next person, but everybody don't have a vehicle to it because of no Everybody's broken too. Right. to be spotted but you know that that goes to that um that one thing that they're always hollering well women don't do no more maintaining oneself and i talked about this in the last show and i talked about how well let's just be honest about the shit maintaining oneself is not when you just go get yourself dolled up you just throw some money at it and you feel like okay i'm pretty so i'm maintaining myself no and I think that right there is what females do. Because I said, I made the statement. I'll go ahead and say it again. Um, there's a difference between girls, females, and women. Mm-hmm. Girls are watching the females around them throw money at themselves and get all what they consider pretty and holler they're independent and they're maintaining themselves but real women take care of themselves inside and out and from head to toe yeah and that destroys it it. but i mean it it's like it's common sense but for a lot of people it's no longer common sense anymore it's it's no longer common knowledge and when it's like that it does make it harder for men to be able to distinguish the difference because these just like these females and these girls they're watching the examples that they have and that's the way they're interpreting it and so to them it's maintaining themselves they're independent they got it going on i've got everything but they don't because like i said it starts to fall apart yeah and so with the real women, we get looked over because it's like, oh no, I done ran into Keisha and Asha and Bunquisha and Well that's my forget though, right there so many men are used to the fuck shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, most of them gonna argue with me and then we're gonna get back together in the morning. Right. Know? She's gonna go and take a cash off and I'll slang up some dick and then everything is okay. 
What she's going to say. This is not a game for real women. And it really fucks up the system. It is. Because can't nobody choose nobody up, even in the LGBTQ community. Mm-hmm. You can't even choose nobody. Take mm-hmm. that from somebody who's dated a lot of women in my life. Right, I understand. Like I have known some of the most childish, some of the most strongest, some of the most independent. And then when I transitioned back to men, I found so many bitches. Like, so many bitches and men, and these fake women are making bitches. Yes. I mean, there was this guy that I knew in high school, and he was such a gentleman. He was, like, fish farming. And then when we reconnected as adults, we were just having a conversation. We weren't even trying to date. We were having a conversation. I know this sounds differently. He had become, and that's because he had married a woman that was so fucking petty. Yeah. To the point where... If I made a joke, and everybody who loves me personally, they know I got a cruel sense of humor. Right. If I made a joke, he would get on the defensive side and go into defending himself and lashing out at me. And I'm like, what the fuck happened to you? Because you knew me. Like, we basically grew up together. Right. But it's because of that. When he explained his situation to me about battling it out because he was going to divorce us and ex wife, he's like, oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of guys are deep down, whether they want to admit it or not, but I think that would be the first step in in their healing process to be able to open up and say, this is what happened to me. Okay, I, I can understand now why <laughs> real women act the way they do. Y'all are not hateful. Y'all are not mean. Y'all don't diss men. Y'all actually appreciate them, lift them up. But I was so used to, would you say, the boom quisha, the, the gang. The gang for the well, let's, let's not forget the, the Patriots and the, the Marcuses and the Antoine who fake real women. Right. They slowly strip them into a image that they want. Sometimes it's a thrill to get a strong woman with a backbone and a sense of humor in her own. care. 
You're caring. Just it's like when, like when it was first the road, if a man asks you, babe, you know, what's going on? What's the plan to him and he offer? That's not no stupid ass uh, point to, to add up to something and say, oh, he's doing it for X, Y, Z, and he ain't really doing it for you. Or if he's just out to ask you, have you eaten anything? Oh, right. just want me to pay for your meal. Like, no, bitch, I'm asking you if you ate. I'm trying to be considerate. You absentmindedly inflict so much pain that you went through. Right. You know, like you said, healing, let that shit go and move on. All right. I like is look for some red flags and keep going. But real women, I am a real woman. Real women will, as you said, maintain oneself, be bookkeeper, be best friend, be counselor, be a hoe at night. Right. You know, that's the oh, point. And a real woman wants a man who can do the same thing. Right. We ain't got to spend time during the day. If we hustling, we go. If we working, we working. If we chilling, okay, fine. Right. At the end of the day, we know that we're together. So real women want somebody who financially stable, first of all, before you get to me. Don't come to me with no side-ass bullshit-ass story. I'm too old for this shit. Yeah, it's like... That's an excuse. That's, yeah. It's called motherfucking excuse to take responsibility for the fact that you just say you can't find a job right now. I would rather somebody be honest and say, I've been looking for work like crazy and I can't find a job right now. Honesty over God, everything. I pay that over go to bullshit. Right. Any woman. day. That's a real woman and though. Then along with the and intelligence too. But we did we did say it's not common anymore. No, it's not, unfortunately. But that's how it all gets really fucked up and mixed up because the trait the character traits that a real woman is supposed to have, a lot of these females do not have. And it's so many more of them, of the women, it's almost a learning situation for the real women. And that piques our attitude as well because, okay, not now not only do I have to continue to fend for myself, to maintain myself, my home, children, if you got children, children, you're dealing with your job, whatever it is you do, which that's four different levels of stressors right there. And then you incorporate dating men or having to deal with men who don't know what a real woman is so they don't know what a real woman wants and i've said this before a real woman does not want some dude to just come in and just i, I give me your paycheck no no let's go over the bills honey. No, a real woman don't want a man to come in and, and say i got all these to take control no she don't want a man to come in and say right Right. But now all of a sudden, because you see how independent I am and how fair I want things to be, why the fuck am I changing? Why we just, and Eartha Kitt said this years and years prior, I think it was an interview she had in the 60s. She said, why compromise? You want to try to compromise, you let me. So why change anything about who we are? Because obviously we fell in love with one another. Why right. compromise? Right. We just can't keep being ourselves. And if change happens, change together. Right. Why Exactly. And I think it was the fact that uh, the interviewer asked her if she would ever get married and change her last name. And she felt that that was a compromise. That's a whole topic for a whole other day, but what I'm interpreting her saying is, I'm right. not supposed to fucking change it, neither are you. I didn't ask you to change shit when I met you. And the thing, like you said, people move too quickly to try and help. So you don't really get to know nobody. You know, back in the day, it was, you know, courtship before you even dated. Hold hands first. That was first. Yeah. That was first. Conversation and you know, gradually moving into okay, let's go to dinner and a movie or something. People don't do that no more. They just get the whole courtship thing. That's how you get to know somebody to know if you want to date them. 
Right. They, you get to a whole level of, level of uh, uh, being personal. Right. When you start to kiss and start to make sexual innuendos or, you know, going to church with people and seeing how you praise and how your family act together, see if I want to get to a full time commitment, that is a relationship with this person. Right. Now, But let's not forget also the Netflix and chill. We know what that's code for. We just used to call it getting booty. Exactly. We called it seriously. We called it getting booty. But see now what they're doing is, and it goes back to the females and the girls. They're seeing the plumped up asses. They're seeing all the college and work. They're seeing all the chicks that they done got the big asses and they're popular on IG. They're popular on, uh, in, you know, Snapchat or whatever. And they go, okay, well, let's tender it up. And then they, they right. skip the whole holding hands. They forget the dating. These people are not even, these females are not, and girls are not even knowing these guys' actual birth name. They are moving so fast. Right. And then they look at real women like, why why is this moving so slow because we're not on that hamster wheel we take our time because i want to know if you're allergic to peanut butter before i give it to you because i'm not going to be sitting up in the damn room looking pitiful because it's our first date or our second date and i done made you a pb and j and i done killed your ass you know what i'm saying but that goes along with what you were saying about taking the time to get to know somebody if they never take the time to get to know somebody, then how are you going to know what it is they really want? Right. So, I mean, it's a it's like a catch-22. It's a double-edged sword on every end. Right. And then they complain because they say, well, women don't cook anymore. Women don't clean anymore. Women say they don't need men anymore. Women don't compliment men anymore. They don't maintain themselves. They curse in them public. They they express boredom. They they won't even wow. prove that. And this is what I've been I've been noticing. I've been getting inboxed. I've been getting emails, and it's questions from guys, questions from females, and it's like, oh my God, I have to do this series. Because there's a lot that people don't know or they didn't take the time to learn or the examples they had, they didn't take those examples and examine that, analyze it. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's crazy because I know for a real woman, a real woman, I mean, she what she really wants, she wants that listening ear. She wants a guy with brains. She wants one who's kind and caring, got to have a sense of humor, confidence, charisma, balance, thoughtfulness, because you said that about being thoughtful, and uh, he can go with the flow, he's presentable, he's ambitious, you know, and it's like, how did that get turned from that, that's what women want, to women want I just want to have his baby so I can get paid for the rest of my life. Um, I'm because gonna... that's what they used to see, and like you said, they used to, they mama not knowing what else to do when time stopped. Well, you know, you got to make sure that you got a good And they're okay. weak. Get your ass up and go get a goddamn job. They're weak too. And the baby is the last resort. If a man don't want to be with you, then I don't know how this kid is going to Look, I'm going through a situation right now where a bud is sick and screams and hollers and all that stuff because she wants to know that I'm at. 
Right. And then you try to use a kid as an excuse. Right. So he can be up for his kid, but it doesn't mean he has to be up for you. Right. I had the common knowledge of this. I can have to see somebody, but it doesn't guarantee that we're going to be together. And so a real woman, see, you're going to have to be able to decide for all of these children in case something happens to him or he can decide, I'm going to relinquish my parental rights. And then to you, these fatal women, the, the ones at the bottom of the fucking telephone, yeah. Hell no. Right, because you you have your own agenda. They don't. It's like they they're not using their head. It's like okay. And they're sitting there, and they're putting it out there like, oh, this guy, he's got to have, he's got to be six feet tall. He's got to make six figures. He's got to have a, a big house. He's got to have, a, you know, money saved in the bank. He's He's got to be willing to fly me here. He's got to be willing to do this and that. And it's almost like they take it as that's what every woman wants. It's like, no... That's not what women want. That's what them little girls want. That's what the females want. And it's like, no, we want somebody who's affectionate, supportive, who contributes, who's ambitious. You know what I'm saying? Just break it down. And they're like, well, no, I thought, no, no, that's what you've been used to. Like you had stated earlier, they get used to that. Or they think, okay, well, I the, the IG models, they're quick. Or a girl at the bus stop, she easy. She didn't even ask me what my name was. I done took her back right. to the crib and hit. And these hoes ain't, ask, ain't, ain't asking me my name. So why why I got to tell you my name? Because if you want to be around me, I need to know who it is I am around. And it's like they make it, they make real women look bad when we're not bad. It's them that looks like that. It's them that's got it fucked up and twisted up. But it falls on us to have to try, like we're doing right now, and try and correct it. Changing the mentality yeah, about it. I was having that conversation with a friend of mine who was like, are you sure your relationship is over? And like I told her, I wanted her to listen to me and listen to my advice. Because I wanted her to be able to make the It's like a tantrum. Not only that, but I am not the step. Real women, excuse me. Real women are not the stepping stone lover. We're not the part time lover. Right. We're not the goddamn teacher. Say that. Men have choices too. And when you don't make the right choice to get your shit together, when your woman is saying, this is what makes me uncomfortable, then nigga says. Right. Say that. 
about me. You get in consideration. Right. It it doesn't, it's almost as if it doesn't compute. And again, it's like maybe if maybe if some of these men, because like we say, all all men ain't the same. But some of these mm-hmm. men, if they actually took the time to actually be willing to learn what a real woman is then they could possibly understand what a real one wants and it's challenging and a lot of them they don't want that challenge so they go for what's easy and then holler well i'm just gonna fuck these hoes because it's much easier i don't have to be articulate i don't have to have any responsibility i can just do them flush the toilet wait Wait for it. Every time they fuck one of those, they're sticking their dick in a toilet. And I'm not talking about a clean one in the Marriott. I'm talking about one on the, in a truck stop somewhere in Timbuk fucking oh. two. A real woman is going to keep her restroom clean. These young girls is not. But that's what they doing. So when they run for what's easy, they run to these little nasty girls who've been, well, let's just say it like it is. They're community pussy. And they expect to treat a real woman like she's community pussy. And when she does not cooperate as if she was community pussy, she gets dogged out and bears one more scar. Am I correct? And it's like, learn what a real woman is. If you know their traits, you'll know that you're dealing with one. And you'll treat her better. Because a real woman is going to stand up for her man. She's going to protect him. She's going to have his back. She's going to do whatever it takes to make sure their household is straight. She'll even stick with him for the next 50 years. And when his dick don't get up no more, she's still going to be there. And she's going to turn around and wash it for him. But it's like with all the hoes out here, it's almost like a lot of men are never going to learn what a good woman really wants or even how to treat her to be able to keep one or hell, even how to approach one to be able to get one instead of trying to throw some money at them or or flow show. It's almost like people, and I'm going to say, Females, girls, and some some guys, because I can't even call these people men. It's almost like they feel like they have to wear their wealth on them. And I was talking, I was talking to Bay early about this. We were having a conversation, and he made an excellent point. You don't have to. We're. It's almost like black people and a couple more, male and female. Because real men and real women do not do this. We do not go spend all the money we have buying rings, necklaces, watches, red bottoms, purses. You know what I'm saying? Boots. Our wealth does not have to be hanging on us. We'll put our money up in the bank or we'll stash it under the mattress or we'll stick it in the left titty and keep pushing and wear our everyday shit. So it's like that's just one of the one of the many things that kind of fucks it up for real women and it fucks it up for men or should I say guys vision of a real woman because what these girls are doing are making the image like you said of a woman very ugly and very inappropriate very nasty because there's a lot of things that they're doing, these girls are doing now that real women don't do. We're not going to do, we're not licking no fucking ice cream and then putting the top back on it and throwing that shit back in on the shelf type of nasty. Yeah. But that's what's going on. Now, you have other, you have other people from other races sitting back looking at us and all the people who are taking part in that nasty type shit like that. And they're viewing women this way. And so the real women Wait, get thrown this, in there. This is why they create some scars, I believe. Because men want to feel special. 
mm-hmm. they want, they still, well, some of them, I, I will say some because I don't want to offend anybody. Right. Some of them feel like if they take charge and they're in control, they in a marriage, that's the basis, that's the basis, and they don't realize that taking charge is only if your partner is unable to. If y'all can come to the table together, somehow this bitch is incapacitated or, or not financially, mentally, spiritually, physically able, then right. you're supposed to take charge. You're supposed to make the decision. Right. They don't understand it. They think that women are supposed to be submissive. Not all of them, but most of them. Right. Um, Eddie Griffin said that um, women were made to accept, not give. And that's a true alpha male thing. And I say that because sometimes when you get that sweet guy, that Prince Charming, who knows how to treat a lady, he opens doors, he pulls out chairs, he holds a purse, he'll have to see why you sit on the couch here, Charlie. Yes. However, he still has that essence of she's not supposed to do anything because basically this woman is a goddess. Let me gift her. I want to buy up every fucking thing for her. I want to take care of all of her problems, all of her woes. You know, she's going to be comfortable. And even he will accept the fact that Okay, she's an independent woman, but now she has a partner. She'll call me if she needs anything. Let me back up and let her do what she do. Right. Right. Until you get fucking married. Until you get married. And I hate it when bitches be like, oh, you really love me, marry me. No, bitch, what you talking about? That's, that's a whole lifetime commitment. Yes, it you is. You don't even know how to be a girlfriend. How the fuck you going to ask somebody to be your wife? And that's why we have so many divorces. Because some of these little girls that you say, Got used to Prince Charming. Right. Alpha male. Right. And they get married to them. But when he falls, you don't know how to fucking pick him up, so all you gonna do is bitch complain. You don't know how to go in the kitchen and get some fucking baked beans and weenies and make a full course meal out of this shit. No, she's you gonna leave. You don't tell him it's gonna be all right, baby. You gonna find another job. This is how much we got in the bank, and this is how much we can sacrifice. No, because they're gonna leave. Yeah. When he finds another woman, he's weary. He's not knowing what to do. And then he get another fucking boo t-shirt. That's another spark. Oh, and then man. And he runs into the alpha female. The one who didn't need no help before you got here. Ain't gonna need no help when you get here. And he tells you on your knees, she's trying to pull you up. But at this point, he's suspicious. And he laughs it out by accident. Like, what the fuck you really want from me? You got everything figured out. But why am I even here? You don't need me. And he's still, he's looking for that void. And absolutely, he's looking for it himself. And right. That's the problem with a lot of these little girls. They didn't have a real father. Right. They always saw mama and daddy argue when it was time for daddy to come and get her on the weekend. Well, he wasn't there at all. Yeah. Because, you know, she only saw him talking to her mama a certain way. So she goes looking for herself. Right. And she makes a lot of fuck ups along the way. Like, okay, if I was talking to daddy, because daddy was fucking stupid, didn't get his attention, what will? Sex will. Because all men think of inner sex, right? Her assumption leads her down the wrong fucking path. And in turn, she still ain't found herself. So she's not an alpha female. She don't know what the fuck she wants, but she know that she needs, quote unquote, a man. And even though she's driving him up the wall, She's playing these psychological games with him and emotional games, thinking that that's going to make you stay, but she's not understanding. You're inflicting your scars on him, and it's just like a disease. It's just a goddamn spread. So thank you, Ron Quisha, for looking for yourself and fucking up. Yourself, make up a bad, and fucking up the male race, making it even worse right. for us. Right. Well, you know what? Oh, man, I just looked at the time. We we got a little time left, so I don't want you to go just yet. I want you to hear the rest of this. I want you to hang in here while uh, we wrap this show up. All right, Sonny? Oh. All right, now, we've been talking about here what real women really want. And we also mentioned, especially my guest, Sonny, we've been also talking about the men and learning what a good woman is. So we're going to run through this real quick. So we can get a clear understanding. 
So in same qualities that define a good woman. A good woman moves past petty jealousies. A good woman is intellectually challenging. She is honest and genuine. She is empathetic. She is ambitious. She is consistent. A good woman puts in effort for you. A good woman carries herself with class, with dignity. A good woman works to improve herself. She will also make you want to be the best version of yourself without changing who you really are. A good woman is what every good man needs. But you got to know you got a good woman and you got to treat her right. Now, these are all the same things that a real woman really wants from a man or woman. However you go, we don't want to offend anybody. But all those same things that I just listed are the same things, plus some that we don't have time to list. That's what we're expecting, and that's what we desire from men and from others that are in our lives. Honesty, respect, loyalty, that's what we want. Dignity, what would you throw in there, Sonny? All right. We'll throw that in there, too. We're going to have to do a part three. Sonny, you down for a part three next week? Sure, yes, I'm down for a part three. All right. Well, tell the ladies why they should call and join in this discussion. Because we keep it motherfucking uncut and real to the feet. And by real, I mean life experiences. So somebody out there is going to believe it. All motherfucking ready. Sonny, thank you for calling in. I can't wait to part three so we can blow this bitch out the water and we can teach everybody what it really is about. Girl, let's teach each other hell because apparently I got some learning to do. <laughs> we all do. We all do. We all do. Thank you for being here. You guys have been listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bringing you the realest entertainment information, music, lifestyle, and comedy around. Y'all want to contact us by phone, 337-513-4478. Online, hit us on Skype, follow us, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, video, video, WordPress, Instagram, and I am sister such and such, the old lady with a Snapchat. Y'all tune in. It is going down. You have been listening. So let's talk. And I am your host, Tony Williams. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys next week. Have a wonderful night. Peace.